Hey guys, that's Mog91 here. So, while I was record, uh, while I stopped recording, I kind of, well, when I went to go save all the stuff, I hadn't moved the, my controller or anything. I automatically just started the next mission, and yeah, so we're gonna just can go with that. And let's see, what's the message say? Um, you did well. Okay, okay, bo the boss. So, I guess we're going to go to dinner, something like that. Sorry, that kind of just, like, I'm like, can I pause this? Like, um, what's going on? Why am I in the, why did it automatically just start another mission? Whatever. I'll just do it and go from there. So, yeah. That kind of went through. So, there's actually... There's a couple games I really want. I really want to spend the money on to import. There's Final Fantasy 13 or Lightning's Return 13, uh, which is Final Fa which I would have just said, which should be Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. Um, I want to import the Collector's Edition from Japan, which won't be out till November, but. It looks sick as hell, but I'm hoping they're not gonna charge it. Well, uh, it's like 260 bucks already before uh, normally, so I think I won't be able to find it for under 300. But yeah, let's see what happens right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and chase these motherfuckers. And yeah. So, I don't know. The thing itself, the whole um, Lightning Returns Collector's Edition is actually pretty sick. I wish I would have had the money. And, whoa, goddamn. And I would have been able to import it. That would have been really nice. Damn, we gotta jump. Okay. Um, so yeah, if I would have the money before my trip. Can't destroy him, but I can shoot him. Um, I would have actually gone through and imported it. Um, before it comes out. Because it's not gonna be out. For like another good four or five months uh, after the okay let me just get out and make this easy yeah that's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier and no it's not I just blew myself up god damn it why did I have to do that so yeah. So I act. Um, so yeah, I probably will import it. I don't want to spend like four hundred bucks on it though. Oh hey guys, you, this actually works out really well. You guys get to see the cutscene. Okay, maybe not. I thought it was gonna show the whole cutscene. So yeah. I'll probably f I'm gonna find out how much people are asking right now for the collector's edition for the PS3 which is coming on which what it comes with let me see if I remember there's the limited edition outfit which will almost guaranteed come on the um, networks later there's that there's the art book soundtrack um and this is actually why they can charge so much well actually there's two reasons there's a statue which looks sick as hell and then they've got all three games which the two game other two games aren't exactly expensive themselves so let's just say price them out averagely so I 
no, you can still get Final Fantasy X 2 for like 20 bucks, which I need to buy another copy of to ha uh, get it graded. I don't know why the hell I'm not doing it, why I haven't done it already. Because I know you can get it for like 10 to 15, depending on where you go. Um, so yeah, you got that. Okay, honestly, I think you could get both 13 and 13 2 for about 30 to 40. Um, because I already know how this mission's gonna go. I'm gonna have to flip around. I'd rather do it already. Um, so yeah, then they've got the soundtrack, art book. The figure is only, um, 10 inches high, which is actually pretty good for a figure. It's six uh, inches wide, so, and it's four meters deep. So, it gives you kind of an idea that it's actually going to be a pretty good sized figure, which, to be honest, you want to have good sized figures if you're collecting that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I was actually going to say, if the cutscene was going to play, I had pulled up the page that it was on to. Whoa, what the fuck? Um, to find out what the... How much it'd be going for on eBay for pre-orders. Editions. Um, I will be pick... If I can pick it up, I will be picking up both the US release and the Japanese. I haven't gotten to the point right now where I'm picking up all the Japanese stuff. But yeah, I, I end up passing up on, uh, some Japanese... A Jap uh, Super Nintendo games or Super Famicom games uh, just because my friend got to them I saw them but it's like he was able to get them put on hold first um, so it's like crap so yeah no dude you're shooting me and you're getting shot at okay Okay. Okay. I'm fucked. I'm not the one getting shot at. Okay. Yep. Let's see. You're pretty much dead. Okay. I've got to go get some body armor. Um, which I'll do. Then I'll end up redoing the mission. Um. I actually kind of hope they go through and um, put this up as a U.S. Limited Edition 2, which I'd buy both copies. So, let me see. Where the hell's the nearest gun shop? Okay. But, yeah. Um, let's see. That's one of the two like really big things I want to import. The other thing was the dot hack um, PS3 game. God. Wow. So only one person's put it up on eBay right now, and they are asking 450 for it. I mean, it's cool and all. Like I'd be doing 300. Uh, in reality, is what I'm hoping to pick it up for. But yeah. I don't know. I will probably check this out again later once it gets closer to its actual release date because of how things are going. Um, but I think there's going to be a, it was only like a 10,000 run. It wasn't a big run. Or a 10 to 15,000 run. So yeah. Wait. Why? Okay, good. I was looking like, why don't I have it on the mini-map? Um, but yeah. So, th I think it's going to be something really cool. Now, to tell you the truth, I've never actually beat 13, 13 2, and obviously not the new one. Um, I've been kind of, like, I'll start the game up, I'll get pretty far, and then I just kind of lose interest. Um, I don't know. 
or it ends up being really hard where I get stuck and I tend to do that. So I don't know right now. Um, I'm actually gonna probably go back through. I want to do a let's play of it still, but I want to wait to where I can't exactly remember shit, just because of the fact I hate. When I know everything to do. And, or it's like. Yep. Um, you go here, here, here. You do this. You sign that. You basically say fuck you to this guy. And just kind of go on. So yeah. That's just my preference. I don't know about you guys. Um, I'm act. There's, an, uh, there's a series which. I had mentioned. I think in the last episode. Which, if you didn't watch it, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys what it was about. Um, a game called Arcade Craft. Now, the game itself is pretty badass. Um, but yeah. So let's try payback one more time in this episode. And then, uh, um, yeah, I'm thinking it's a short game. You can do a year and a, uh, about 20... To 30 minutes so I might just try to do a full let's play on do it kind of like how I did the um, what you call it the Mega Man sprite game how that went because that was actually a pretty good let's play you guys seem to enjoy it now I don't know how many guys actually uh, really liked it I thought it was a pretty damn good game for being a flash based game. I would be happy to just design something like that. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I'm actually kind of. I need to go through and start. Learning how to do. Start learning how to program. So I'll be spending hopefully. A, quite a bit of time doing that. Besides doing all the YouTube videos that I do. Because I do a shit ton of videos. Oh yeah, um, guys, if you're wondering about the RTX, which I mentioned two episodes ago, and the first episode since I got back, um, if you're wondering how the hotel, uh, the hostel I was staying at, it was, the people there were a lot of fun to hang out with, I wouldn't choose to hang out with anybody else, well, I can't say with anybody else, but, like, I just wouldn't want to hang out with, any, like, another group like that, uh, different group. It w everybody there was nice. Everybody was there for pretty much the same reason. Except for the three uh, Australian chicks that came in at 3, 4 in the morning, drunk as hell, screaming. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to deal with. Um, so yeah, there was that. Um, that was probably the worst thing. But everybody else, besides that night, which was the first night I was here, it was a lot of fun. I would say stay at hostels, you never know who you're going to meet, and just relax, it's a good experience, you should have a good, you should have some good fun, and yeah, be honest, I will be doing hostels from now on whenever I go to conventions or anything, that I need to get a cheap place or if I'm not staying with, if I'm not, if I'm going by myself, hostels are the way I'm going to be going. Um, we had a guy in his mid-30s who ended up getting a date with, like, this 22, 23-year-old chick, which is like, god damn, dude, that is nice. Hey, 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 no, 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 you do not shoot me. I'm not shooting you. I'm chasing you. And we're running over the guy, but I ain't gonna shoot you. But yeah. So, I don't know. Hostels are really a good way to stay if you're looking by yourself. If you're doing this in the U.S., I can't say about anywhere else because I didn't actually stay anywhere. Because uh, I haven't stayed at another hostel. This is actually my first hostel. I would say bring a suitcase. Don't worry about that whole rule that you need to bring a uh, you should just bring like a backpack style because be honest you're gonna have more crap than you really should okay 
Come on. Die. Die. And I'm not gonna... Sh okay. Throw it over. And watch that explode. That guy should be dead. Okay. Let's see. How close was that on that one? That one. Pretty much I got everybody. And now I'm just going to walk away. Like a badass from all the explosions. And let's get across the street. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Okay. I gotta go. I'm being chased. So yeah, I was gonna end it right at the end of the phone call, but I'm being chased and I know you guys would like to see that. Yep. And I got on the highway. That's badass. Um, so yeah. If you guys are going by yourself, like I said, or even if it's only like one other person, um, stay at a hostel. It's going to save you a lot of cash in the long run. Um, they're a lot of fun. And usually you get some really cool people. I mean, we had people from, let's see, I'll try to remember. We had people from the UK, a lot of people from uh, Europe. We had a couple, we had like six Australian people. There was Norway, Australia, UK, uh, UK, England. No, I don't think there was anybody from France. And any of you guys that have, are watching this from uh, the hostel form, you know, let, comment down below if you remember where everybody's from. Um, But yeah, for the most part, I think pretty much it was like, yeah, most people were from Europe, somewhere in Europe, and you had a lot of people from Australia and Canada. Cannot forget Can Canada. We had a quite, we had like four or five Canadians, and yeah, oh yeah, I got some raw footage I got to put up and mail to uh, one of the Aussies. I just call them Oz. Well, actually, that's what we were calling me and like everybody else calling the one Aussie guy. Uh, Australian guy Aussie all weekend, but yeah, that's a time. That's another story for another time. Okay guys peace